One of the big wins of week number 10 was the Tennessee Titans coming up with the W against the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, a game in which uh, our buddy Taylor Lewan had a oh, – already this is one of the sound bites of the year where after <clears throat> he earned uh, a flag – I don't know how many, but he's now got nine on him this year. And um, he front-loaded the – well, I mean, he knew the question was coming, so he front-loaded the answer before the media could ask him the question as they surrounded his locker yesterday. This is what he had to say. Before we even start this whole thing, my penalties are a problem. I am 100% an issue with that. It's not intentional. I do not mean to do it. I, my intentions are good. I'm just trying to finish. And it's killing the team. And I know that. You guys need to know that. No one needs to call me out or anything because I, I, I got it, boys. I am completely screwing the team with the amount of penalties I've had in these last, what, six games? It's crazy. It's, it's, it's horrible. I cannot get penalties. I'm sorry. There's no need to ask about it because I know I'm an absolute liability when it comes to penalties. <laughs> Back here on the Rich Eisen Show, our buddy Taylor Lewan. Taylor, do I even need to ask you a question? Do you just want to go? What do you think? Yeah. Uh, you, you, you're having a little laugh during that sound, but you like that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, man, it is what it, I mean, it's just the reality of the situation. I can't have the penalties I've had. It's just, it's crazy. The, the, the drive stalling, just killing. I mean, our offense had a hard time getting going this year, and it definitely doesn't help with me coming back after four games and having the amount of penalties I've had. I mean, I mean, taking responsibility, it's, it's not hard for me to do because it's, I know it's an issue. You know, I, I mean, my job, my thought process has always been to play as hard as I possibly can, always. And, um, you know, I had, some, I had a stupid flag. I had, I had a stupid flag, a holding, and a, and a false start yesterday. So three penalties, just absolutely ridiculous. And, uh, you know, I know Titan fans are, are not too happy with me right now, and I know my teammates shouldn't be happy with me, but I'm definitely – I think I said later in the interview, I'm not even holding my wife's hand. This entire uh, bye week because I don't want to get a holding call. That's how bad I want to stop the penalty. Well, not, Taylor, I'm you know even, I won't even I won't even do it. I, I don't flag, even, baby. You, I'm not doing it. You know how my it wife works. posted a picture of me last night on Instagram. Yeah. Of we I, I was uh, I was a penalty flag two years ago as a joke, and she, she posted and said I thought Halloween was over. Wow. And here, and here we are with more penalties. I know. Rusted. My wife's chirping me now. No, I know that. But, Taylor, you know how it works. You, you can grab for just a split second, then you got to let go. You know what I mean? So you I can know. hold your wife's hand for just a little bit and then let go. Let go so you're not called, you're not flagged for it, you know? Yeah. But, but I don't want to tell you how to do your job. You know, but, again, it, it's just – so when do you <laughs> – obviously, you're in the flow of a game, and, and it's exciting the way that you guys won – but then it, when, when does it hit you that, oh, gosh, I know I need, I need to talk about this stuff and that you were going to handle it that way? Walk me through your process, Taylor, post-game Well, there. I'll tell you when, you, get, when you get a penalty, the biggest thing you need to do is move on. Because if you start focusing on things, you, you start – plays start to add up. That happened to me this week. I, you know, I had a, a, a personal foul. I put, tried to push the guy into the pile after the whistle was over. It was stupid. And then we call a screen to the, to, to the left where I get out, and I look at the safety, and I see the coverage. I'm like, oh, my God, you're about to make up for everything. Here we go. Time to save the day. Jono gets the ball, gets upfield. Amazing. I get on this, this safety. I start driving him. He tries to get off. I put him in the ground, and there's another holding call. So you just you can't let those things stack up. I'll tell you what, um, it's just – it, it, it's a it's a frustrating thing, and once the game was over, I knew I had to talk about it because I knew it, I know it's a problem, and I have no issue talking about a problem if there if there is one. But um, when you're in the game, I mean, when those things happen, you got to move on and try to make up for it. You know, later down the line with uh, good good pass protection, giving Tandy time or or a good run block to go for a touchdown. So, the, I think the next series actually. We ran one play for that long uh, Derrick Henry touchdown, right? And I went off, and I, I told the old line, "Thank you so much for me not looking like a complete a hole, <laughs> you know, saving me for those for those penalties, boys. I love you guys." So, I mean, I'm, I'm very aware. I just I got to be better, man. I really do. So, uh, before we we turn the page on this subject, uh, you mentioned at the top of uh, your soliloquy here on this show that you missed the four first four games due to suspension, and that was in that four game period where even fellow Michigan man Tom Brady had a tweet out about all the flags for holding, like, hey, i got to turn the game off. Is it possible that you're going through the adjustment period now that uh, the rest of the league went through for the first four weeks on this subject? Yeah, I, I mean, first off, before like, that's a tough question to answer after you just took responsibility for everything, and then to go say, well, yeah, they're probably rich. You know, it's, <laughs> I don't want to be sure that everyone knows I'm taking responsibility. 
but in, in a lot of ways, there there are things when you don't play for four games, you miss out on a lot of stuff. And so, I got to be better about those things. It's it's a different league than even when I first got here, my first year. Oh, there's so many different rules now, and different ways you have to block guys and and all that. It's um, it's just it's really different now. And I mean, I am adjusting a little bit, and I, I I'm sure. I'd like to think it wouldn't be as bad if I started with the first four games, but the reality is I'm in, I'm in the position I am with as many penalties I have in the last five games, and it's just got to be better, or six games. So, I mean, responsibility. I just got to take it, take it and move on and keep going. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.